So we're going to look into a bunch of um, textual uh, learning about what we kind of experienced, whether we know it or not, uh, whether we understood it or not, and where we're going to with transitioning. Because transitions are always the hardest part of life, right? It's like when you're in between a job, you're in between a home, you're in between a relationship, you're in between a song, right? If it's a concert and it's like one song and then it's going to another song and like you, there's a transition that happens that when we're able to make that transition seamless or and less, we could say less intense, less painful, you know, coming from where we were and what we we're nostalgic about and where we're going and to be open to the possibilities of what is coming up for us, then we open ourselves up for a lot of new possibilities, which is basically what uh, what we're going to be speaking about today. So we came from... This last week's Parsha, Parsha Bereshit, which talks about the creation of the world. And of course, that's the first Parsha in, in the Torah. And the Holy Baal Shem Tov says that the first thing that a person needs to know is Bereshit in the beginning. Bara Elohim et HaShemayim Vitar. So that the first thing that a person should know is that all of creation, everything that we see in the mundane world, Right in in the what we call the world of in Hebrew it's called the world of reshut, the world of permission, right? Not just the world of holiness, but the world which is everywhere around us. That the Creator is there. Bereshit bara Elohim. In the beginning, God created the heaven and earth. That's the first thing. That really the most important thing. The most primary source of of information right or or facts or knowing inner knowing that one you know sh should have and develop and foster within oneself obviously it's not so easy because we live in a world which is full of contradictions and full of ups and a lot of downs and a lot of pain and we're obviously seeing that right now in the current events of okay. today and yesterday and you know in the days and and the whole year right has been a year of of a lot of contradictions and a lot of and a lot of and a lot of pain right uh, where we ask ourselves, how can we, you know, see the hand of the creator within everything that is happening within the world? And yet we could also ask ourselves, how can we not see the hand of the creator within everything that is happening and focus on the miracles and focus on, you know, what we call the unseen hand of God, right, which is there. So in our, um, in the time that we're in right now, uh, there's a verse that's used um, that, you know, that kind of like, it's almost like a mantra, which is used after, after Bereshit, right? The night after Bereshit and as we transition into the world. And Jacob went on his way and the angels of Elohim of Hashem, right? Encountered him, right? And as he went on his way, after being blessed, fighting against the angel, right? It says he went on his way. And the question that is asked is, what is his way, right? Yaakov halach ledarko. Yaakov went on his way. What's Yaakov's way? So there's two ways because 
a way actually is a way to someplace. And it's a way that actually brings that place to us, right? Whenever there's a, there's a road, okay, we're going from that road to a destination, but there's also that destination that leads to the, where we're at here, right? That's what a derech is. And the Talmud kind of goes back and forth with, un, with trying to understand what a darko is. What is a derech? So is it his road, right? Or is it referring to something else? And in Hasidus, it's brought out that there's two roads over here. There's darko, there's the derech of Hashem, of the creator, the Yaakov Halach le Darko. Yaakov went on Hashem's road, right? He basically was able to get on. It's like when you when your car gets on the highway finally after getting through maybe some bumpy roads. You're like, oh, I'm I'm on the road. I'm on the you know I'm on the freeway. So you're like, oh, I've got like how many kilometers or miles to go. So now you're on the road, right? And you feel good when you get on that road and you kind of like could put on some music or whatever it is, you know, listen to words of, of inspiration of Torah, whatever, and you're going on the road, right? And you could, and, and that's a great feeling, right? So is it your road, right? Or is it a road that is now leading you to where you are going to? And so... Darko could refer to whose derech? To Hashem's derech. That when Yaakov left um, Haran after fighting the angel and after finding, you know, going through everything that he went through, Yaakov then went, was able to get on that highway of Hashem. And he was now on, on the road, right? The road to success, you know, the road to safety, the road to you know, to where he was going to. And that's one way to look at it. And then the other way to look at it, the Yaakov Halach Lidarko, Yaakov went on his road, it was his road. So Yaakov chose the road. In other words, he was inspired or he had, uh, you know, an idea of where he needed to go to, but he's the one that chose the road. It's like nowadays, like we have ways, so we don't really choose that much where we're going to right? Waze or Google, whatever. But, you know, those of us that remember the, the, you know, the good old days when you had MapQuest and you had, you know, you, or before that even, where you didn't even know where to go and you're just, you know, writing the, you know, the directions, right? I remember getting lost in New York, like countless times, you know, trying to get on, on this bridge and then that bridge and then the other one and taking that highway and that freeway and going around, and like when whenever I drive and I have ways, I'm like, thank you, Hashem. That's one of the great inventions of, you know, of the 21st century. It really, really is. And I think, you know, I think all of us do, right? And and we all we're all like proud. We're like, yes, that came from Israel, you know. You know, we could just go on the road, right? And it picks it for us. But the truth is that there are many roads that we could travel to are on to get to our destination, right? Because we could choose this, right? It's the path not, not traveled on, right? Like that famous, you know, you know. Um, Robert and, Frost. Exactly, Ro Robert Frost, exactly. Hey, Michelle. The road not taken. The, the, <laughs> the road not taken, there you go. The road not taken, or right? Less so travel. We, the road not, Yes, so we didn't we didn't go on that road. We didn't know what we missed because we chose this road. We chose this career. We chose this path. We chose this, you know, whatever it is that we chose, we're doing it to a certain way in exclusion of another path, right? That we could have taken. Yeah. And so Yaakov Halach Lidarko, Yaakov went on his road. That's his road that he chose. And so we've got two roads over here. We've got Hashem's road, which is the ultimate truth of roads, because that's the road that, you know, that we kind of, uh, we're like, if, if we're on Hashem's road, 
there's no other road that we need to be on, right? Like we say, Hashem is my shepherd, right? Who said that? King David. Right. Another, another, I would say the greatest poet ever. <laughs> so King David says, right? Hashem is my shepherd. He's, te he's telling me what road to go on. And I'm traveling on that road. It's, it's my road, but it's Hashem's road. And then there are times in our life that we don't feel the shepherd. And we're, we're just saying, you know what? Hmm, I think it's going to be this road. I think I'm going to take this path or this. I'm going to make this choice and go down this path, right? And what happens to many of us, right? Once we go on the path, we're like, hmm, I'm having FOMO. I would, you know, should I have gone on the other path? You know, what if I would have done this? What if I would have taken that in college? Or what if I would have chosen this, you know, career? What if I would have had this partner? What if I would have, what if, what if, what if? And we're missing the point. Because the Yaakov Halach Lidarko, when we're in connected to Hashem's will, right? And we have the sincerity of intention. So then the road that we go on, which we are upon right now at the beginning of the year, and we're going to make many choices throughout the year of taking, make, of going on different paths, right? Throughout the year. And we're like, well, we're far away from that inspirational time of you know the holidays where we feel like this closeness is the embrace of the sukkah you know feeling the the joy of you know of simchat Torah, feeling you know that spirituality of yom kippur we're, we're not feeling that as much anymore right so now we're like am i making the right choice or am i not making the right choice and what goes on in our mind is self-doubt self-doubt why did I do that? I should have done this and I should have done that. And we have like, we have this ping pong, pong match going on in our own heads, in our own hearts. And this verse, which is used um, and, and is wished and blessed sort of like at the end, the culmination of, uh, of on Saturday night of Shabbat Bereshit, where the Gabai, right, in the show says, Ve'yakov halach ladarko, Yaakov went on his road. So you should just know that the road that you are traveling on, that you will take, ultimately, ultimately, is Hashem's road.